Bring your daughter, bring your daughter to the slaughter. Let her go, let her go, let her go. <laughs> uh, yeah. In case you were wondering, that was uh, an Iron Maiden song that is pretty noon. So you should probably listen to it. Bring your daughter to the slaughter by Iron Maiden. Yeah, I know it sounds ridiculously violent, but it's a pretty good song. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Givento and welcome back to yet another reaction on the channel. TGIT? Thank God it's Tommy. It is Friday, my dudes and my lords and my ladies, which means Tommy released another cover, and this time he takes us to Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden, I've listened to quite a lot of Iron Maiden songs. I will not say that I heard them all because I didn't, but I did hear pretty many Iron Maiden songs, and actually, Iron Maiden, it kind of followed me through high school. There's a lot of good Iron Maiden songs out there, guys. And hey, guess what I did when I was maybe like um, 18? 18, I think I was approximately 18. Look at this picture. Yeah, you see the guy with the long black hair? That is me. You see the guy with the FU finger? Yeah, that's Iron Maiden's first singer, Paul Diano. Yes, it is true. Long story short, um, we were at a concert that was unannounced. Uh, my buddy, which is one of the people in the picture, his teacher in school, his music teacher, played the guitar in Paul Diano's tour band. So we got tickets for free. And we watched the whole concert where Paul Diano was performing basically all of the songs from Iron Maiden's two first albums, Iron Maiden and Killers, which was t so awesome. And then afterwards, we were invited to go backstage and have a pizza and a beer with Paul Diano himself. So we sat there for basically an hour just talking about random stuff, hearing stories, I will never ever forget that moment because that was epic. But hey, here we are, Friday evening, and Tommy released his version of Aces High with Iron Maiden. Not the same singer that I've met, but with Bruce Dickinson. Aces High is a great song, a really good song. It's about war airplanes. It's actually one of Iron Maiden's better songs, and I remember the first time that I heard this song, I was really impressed by how high Bruce Dickinson could sing. It was amazing. Which means I'm pretty excited to hear what Tommy has in store for us today. So if you're new to this channel, then please be sure to subscribe. If you enjoy what I do in here, then please like the video. If you want to see more of my personal life, then please follow my link tree, which is in the description box down below, where you can find all of my socials in the same place. And without further ado, let's listen to Tommy singing Aces High by Iron Maiden. <sighs> this is going to be cool. I think this is going to be really cool. Here we go. Pizza Rustica. Pizza Rustica. Sorry. Yeah, we're not supposed to watch the the ads. <laughs> oh, dude. Here we go. Come on, then. <laughs> yeah, 
It's a pretty intense song. Hey. You know what? I think this has actually lost a little bit of air. It's kind of... It, it's way too bendable. <laughs> That's okay. I'll just... Oh. Oh no, oh no, God, look at that. We need to fix that. Is that better? Oh, that's a lot better. Really interesting to see Tommy's take on this one. What else is there to say than, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, <sighs> when you think about it, this is literally one of the, one of the first power metal songs with the double hi-hat, not hi-hat. That's not what I was gonna say. With the double bass, uh, with a <laughs> whoops with the double bass drums and you know the tempo of this song i profoundly remember like i was kind of kind of struck with a feeling when i heard this song the original the first time i was like gee this is a really the fast-paced metal song. Then I was not used to that. Yeah. Come on. That is so beautiful. This is important, what I'm about to say. Okay. So Tommy, as usual, pays a lot of respect to the original by adding the echo sound, 
where it's supposed to be and keeping the melody the way it's supposed to be. What did Tommy do then? Well, he didn't just sing the cover of this song. He he made the tempo a bit faster, a bit heavier. It's basically a remastered version with a twist. And I'm... It's really hard not to get impressed again. <laughs> Why wouldn't we be? Alrighty then. God, wait, what? What? Is <laughs> okay. okay, I think I've calmed down. <laughs> really try here. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I think we need to see that again so that you understand what I mean. He goes like up on the highest pitch in the history of mankind. And then he looks surprised as if he didn't know that he could do that. <laughs> Let's do a rewatch. Look at his face, facial expression right now. It's like, what? Wait, what? Did I do that? <laughs> I'm, t I'm fine. I'm totally fine. <sighs> well, well, that was Tommy Johnson with Aces High by Iron Maiden. And that was, um, that last pitch was one of the most, that was one of the sickest things I've ever heard. It's, uh, yeah, I think that's one of the sickest things Tommy has ever heard come out of his mouth. <laughs> I mean, why, uh, why else would he do that, that look on his, um, on his face? Oaks, I really enjoyed this cover a lot. I mean, um, yeah, I'm friggin' honestly gonna tell you that so far there's no disappointments in any ways with Tommy. This was really good. Like, this was ridiculously good. Yeah, it felt good laughing. I hope you guys laughed as well. We should all laugh more. Laughing makes you live longer, makes you feel better, makes you be more in the moment and forget about everything else around you. Laugh more. What did you guys think about this cover of Aces High by Iron Maiden? Then please leave it in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this as much as I did, and if you laughed like I did, then please like the video, subscribe, go follow me on socials under the name of Gibbento. There's a link tree link in the description box down below. Guys, thanks a lot for watching my videos. That means truly much to me. Um, and I will see you very soon in the next one. Have a great evening and goodbye for now. Toodaloo. To <laughs>
Toodaloo? Who the hell says Toodaloo? <laughs> Goodbye.